Hey guys, Drew here over at Rev Hiker Outdoors, and uh, look, I'll jump right into it because we all know why you're here. You read the title of this video, so you know that this is going to be about the Tugo Systems Trifecta V2. So, just quickly, um, I know a lot of people ended up buying the version 1 Trifecta, which was really awesome, and I loved it. And there's a lot of really good things about it. And there were some things that could have been improved on. And I think what Brian did with the version 2 is take everybody's comments on my videos and other people who reviewed it uh, and some of my suggestions. I know I talked with him and some other people did. And he kind of improved absolutely everything. So what were some of the shortcomings of this? Well, some of it was the grommets in the corners when you wanted to use this as a tarp or something like that. Um, it, it came a little short on being able to be tied out. The other thing people hated was the color, the white color. A lot of people really didn't like. So for the V2, uh, he listened and we got OD green, which is so much better. Uh, and you know, in the event of a survival thing, you can always turn this thing inside out and use the silver side. It's a great reflective uh, thing to use for signaling. So I think he hit a home run on the color. Now I know a lot of people have pre-ordered this and are kind of eagerly awaiting uh, the, um, excuse me, the, the review on this. So I'm just going to jump in and, and share some of the stuff that I really like about it. Oh, shortcomings on the Virgin 1 were the zipper. When I did the rain test, and if you guys haven't watched that, I'll try to put a card in for the rain test. Um, this thing where it came in was the one seam on the Tyvek and the zippers. So what Brian did on the version 2 uh, was <clears throat> he taped all the seams, even around where the zipper sewed in, and he put a pretty much totally waterproof zipper on this thing. It is a heavy-duty, awesome, waterproof zipper. Now, I'm going to switch this up and show you guys uh, how he fixed the tie-out situation, how he fixed the zipper and the seam taping situation, and obviously the color's uh, kind of already there, but... Basically, uh, it, it did get a couple ounces heavier, but to me, for the added versatility of this thing, that's not a big deal at all. Let, let me just say this before I get into this. Um, if you are looking to go super, ultra, mega, crazy, stupid, lightweight on your next trip, you could conceivably use this as your shelter and your sleeping bag in one. Uh, even in rain, you could zip this thing totally shut I wouldn't recommend that or leave a little opening for air, but in an emergency, this could certainly uh, keep you warm and dry all night pretty much by itself, as long as you had a little insulation from the ground, providing that it wasn't super cold out. But the way this thing has been waterproofed, and I tested it, but my footage, uh, it didn't come out. And now I've been on like a week straight of sunny days, so I haven't had a chance to refilm it. But suffice to say, uh, this is... Um, well this the original lasted hours before it leaked through the seam and the zipper um, this is like almost indefinite the, it really nothing really came through uh, I pour I put this into a bowl and I poured water over the zipper of it and waited for it to seep through the zipper and I got tired of waiting so the waterproof on this is is pretty awesome so let me uh, switch up the camera and I'll give you a close-up of how we address the tie out issues and the zipper issues uh, so stick around so here we are. Uh, now it does come in the uh, carrying case just like the other one did. Little drawstring. Uh, that's kind of, you know, whatever. That's that's how they all kind of come. So that's no big surprise. Well, let's take this off. And uh, the way I rolled this one up is I folded it in half, rolled it, and then folded it in half. And it still got into the uh, into the bag, no problem. Let's take a look at this zipper first off. Check this thing out is total waterproof zipper this is like what you get on high-end rain jackets and rain slickers and uh, waterproof bags and things like that and then on top of that Ryan sewed in a storm flap so this thing let me show you on the, the corner this storm flap will literally fold over and more or less cover that from any incidental rain that's gonna hit it so not only is it is the zipper waterproof by being all rubber coated but it's got a storm flap that comes over the top as well. Now, let's show you the, uh, this is the zipper. It is a little bit, um, you know, it, it's a bit of a stiff pull. If you've ever 
use these type of zippers, you know that you know you got to work it. it. It's not as easy as a regular zipper, but it's still not like annoyingly hard. Um, he still put the double zippers so you can do it from the inside. And here you can see a good a good look at all the uh, the taping that he did on all the stitches. So you can see that it's it's done right on the zippers, both sides. Every, everywhere that there's a seam on this thing, he's got it taped. Is this perfect? Is it going to be waterproof forever? No, I mean, eventually, you know, it's going to come through. But, I mean, for all intents and purposes, the way he did this, the only conceivable place where you where it's not taped is behind here. So, if the water managed to sit right there and went past here, past the storm flap, which covers it, which is taped, by the way, and if it seeped through this seam here, then you could get a little water in in the very corner of this thing. Now, I thought about showing everybody how this thing sets up, um, but then I started thinking that you've seen it set up with the other one. You can set this up in all the same ways and then some because of these right here. In all four corners <clears throat> and on the center points on the long side and in the very center of it, we've got these D loops. Now actually, in a second, I'm going to pull, pull the camera out and show you a view of this thing kind of laid out on the floor so you can see where all these tie-outs. But this is a plastic D-ring and, uh, you know, you've got it reinforced here and reinforced here and taped. So, I mean, they did, they did a really nice job on this thing as far as I'm concerned. Now, let me show you some of these corner ones. Now, I have slept in this thing uh, a few times, and actually in the corners they did a big piece like this as well, plus this little box reinforcement, plus this. Now, the only seams that I've found on this that aren't taped are these corner pieces where it's doubled up. But where the zipper is, it's all taped in, and on this main seam, let me show it to you, this main seam that runs down the center of the one side, or a little off-center, that's taped. So really the only non-taped things that it could soak in after a while is here. But again, it's a different kind of stitch that really doesn't allow the water in. If you wanted to, you could, you could kind of tape those. But the zipper, the main area where anything could get in, and the big seam are all taped uh, when you get this thing. So let me, um, <clears throat> you kinda, you've had a chance to see these. Let me pull out and uh, I'll pull the camera out and you'll be able to see the whole thing on the floor uh, in one big shot and I'll kind of explain the rest on that. All right guys, so here's the um, the bivy uh, slash campy blanket, whatever you want to call it, the trifecta V2, all stretched out. Now, here's that center point that I was talking about. If you want to pitch this, uh, you know, like in a in different kind of configurations, this is really cool. Uh, you can tighten up the center and, you know, kind of suspend that from a tree. And then also in the center here on the long sides, you can see that there's another D loop. They've got one there and there's one back there as well. Uh, in addition to the ones on the corners and on the center lines. You can see right here. You've got your D-loop on the center as well, where the zippers uh, kind of meet. <clears throat> so that's this thing all stretched out. It's the same size, you know, so none of that has changed over the original one. Uh, but again, he added the D-loops with the reinforcements. He added the center one, he added the side ones, and he added them along your, your long, um, uh, the, the fold, basically. Uh, so... He added a lot more tie-out options for different uh, configurations when you want to sleep in it. Here's the really cool thing, guys. With these corner loops, I, I thought this was really cool. I set up my hammock, and I zipped from each end. I, I kind of zipped in the ends, and I used uh, these, and I ran some shock cord up to the carabiner on either end of my hammock, and I made this thing basically like an under quilt that kind of folded over the top of my hammock as well. Uh, and it worked really well. The only thing I would have to do uh, in the future is go off of this center one and cinch that up as well to keep the corners uh, kind of up 
um, and tucked up underneath. But you could use this thing as an under quilt. Um, you could uh, drape this underneath your hammock and then lay another layer of insulation in there. It, it works really well. And to get out, all you have to do is kind of pitch your hammock uh, low to the ground and you can just swing your legs out right over the side. And um, maybe I'll show a setup of that in another video when I uh, go on my next trip here. But as far as like functionality, this is kind of like the original trifecta on steroids with all kinds of improvements. Um, I love this thing. I'm not going to go through everything about it because you guys have watched the video on the version one. Uh, all the things that I was that I thought could have been improved on the version one have been improved here. Um, I'm kind of looking at this thing wondering how it could have gotten any better. Um, and, and I just, I'm having a hard time thinking. Uh, it was really cool kind of brainstorming with Brian as we, um, you know, talked a little bit about what uh, additions to add. And, and I think he was spot on with the zipper, with the seam taping, and uh, these tie outs. He added extra than I even talked about. And um, just, I think he did a fantastic job on it. So uh, let me roll this thing back up and uh, I'll give you my final impressions. All right, guys, let's wrap this up. So like I said, I, I kind of covered just about everything that I wanted to say about this, uh, except for uh, the weight. I know I said it was a couple ounces heavier, uh, but the actual weight on this is 15.5 ounces. Uh, to me, it's totally worth the extra couple ounces with the added protection that you get and the versatility from those D-rings. Uh, they are a lot better to set up with than the old um, grommets that were in the corners. I have pitched this, like I said, I lost some of that footage and everything, but uh, don't worry, you guys will be seeing this uh, all set up on some, some videos that I'm going to be doing in the future. Uh, this thing is really, really cool. Super excited about it. Um, the D-rings add a ton of versatility. The zipper is bomb-proof. Uh, and waterproof really like it so anyway guys if you were a fan of the first version um, or maybe you were a little hesitant about the first version because you maybe you saw the water test and you thought that you wanted a little more protection from the rain or water or soaking through or anything like that this is definitely going to fill all of those gaps for you i'm really excited about this version too uh, and i think between this and the bob poncho uh I, I am like super set up for this year's uh, ultralight backpacking season. Uh, I cannot wait to to get them all out and trail test them. Like I said, I spent a couple nights in this, uh, you know, around my house to really test it. Uh, but I'm looking forward to taking this thing out on the trail and really putting it through its paces. But if it's anything like the version one, I know I'm not going to have any issues. Uh, so anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. God bless you guys as always. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you another time. Take it easy.